Yo, what's going on guys? How you doing? Arix here and welcome to another PlayStation VR video and today we are playing Riggs Mechanized Combat which is probably my favourite of the VR games that I've played up until this point. Obviously I played PlayStation VR a while before it actually came out and at various different events I got to try out loads of different games and Riggs has always been the one that stood out for me. I've always been a massive fan of giant robots, giant mechs and this one is just like probably my most enjoyable experience. It only requires a PlayStation controller so you can sit down in your chair and still enjoy the experience but it is still super awesome. So we're going to jump in obviously up until now I've tried out you know random matches that I've been put into but I haven't started from the very beginning of the game so uh Let's dive in. If you guys do enjoy it, then like would be super appreciated. If you want to see some more VR gameplay or a VR unboxing of this headset, then I'll link both of those down below. But uh, let's get started. All right. Headset is on. Let's continue. Game on, pilots. Riggs is an intense all-action sport. We recommend that you start with short play sessions. I know what I'm doing. I am an experienced pilot, I'll have you know. So, let's see. I have never seen this from the beginning of the game. It's going to be interesting. As I say, I've always jumped into, like, random matches. So let's see... Uh, there we go. Each season, they come from all over the world. Wait, that looks like the GameCube logo. Also worth mentioning, by the way, right at the very beginning, the resolution you guys are going to see on the video is going to be a bit lower. It's, of course, because of, like, you know, catering for the headset and whatnot. But the headset itself, the picture is super clear. But if you guys are wondering why there are, like, black bars inside the screen and the rest seems a little bit lower, that's just because it's the kind of output for the capture device, but it's actually really, really nice and clear in here. But anyway, look at this. These are, these are some of the different, like, rigs you can play as. I normally play as, um, the one that just ran past. He's the one that can double jump. This is the dude that can fly. Which sounds kind of cool, but double jump is really, really useful. This dude here, he's a new one. I think he's a new one. I've never seen this rig before. He's, uh... Alright, mate. Don't squash me. Cool. Yes, no, the, yeah, the blue and red one in front, that's the one that I know he plays. But this dude apparently he's won. We'll see about that. We will see about that. Rick's Mechanized Combat League. Man, I want a giant robot myself. Alright, sweet. So this is our. Hey, welcome to the team. One second and I'll be right with you. Alright, boss. Look at this. This is cool. This is my home. For waiting. This guy is one of our biometric scanners. He's just going to record some data to complete your profile. All right. I've been looking at your stats. Your last season as a semi-pro was outstanding. Hey, look, it's this my feet. is the big league. Time to really show what you can do. Cool. I'm your chief engineer. Uh, chief for short. The team and I will maintain your rigs at optimal performance run training exercises, provide tactical information during a match. Everything you need to be a winner. Cheers. First, there are some formalities we need to go through to bring you up to speed. We've prepped a test rig so we can set it up just how you like it. Sound good? Yes. Let's get started then. Sounds good. Give me my robot. The my rig. Of exo engineering. It's tougher, faster, and a whole lot meaner than the hardware you're used to. All right. This is a hunter-class chassis. She might seem small compared with other rig types you'll encounter, but she's got it where it counts in terms of speed and maneuverability. Okay. She's equipped with twin auto-reloading assault cannons. These are the most advanced sticks on the market, giving you hair-trigger control over movement and firing. She has state-of-the-art servos and actuators throughout her chassis. Allowing her to cope with any terrain. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Okay, time to get you on board, I think. Let's get her in position. I'm just going to call in a drone to lift you into the rig. Ah, here it comes now. Are you sitting Hey, we're inside, boys. Great. Then let's power up your heads up display so we can get started. You're up and running. We're going to start by aligning your rig's aiming lasers. Entering calibration mode now. Okay. 
Turn your head to aim your lasers at the center of the target until it lights up. Cool. Good. Next position now. Yep, that's good. Yep. Okay, everything's looking good on my Sorted. end. Now it's time to have some fun. Let's move on to some target practice. I'm loading the target reach. I just want to get into a game. I know how to play this game, but it's cool. I'm going to run through this anyway. It's quite interesting to see. So, when I first played this game, you used to actually turn as well by moving your head, but Each rig has two weapons. I'll talk about it after. Fire just one at a time or both together. Fire your right weapon now and destroy these targets. Great. Now take out these targets with your left weapon. Okay. Mate, I've never been so precise Remember in my life. You can fire both weapons at the same time. Squeeze those triggers. Good hey. job. Watch the ammo counters at the sides of your hut. Your weapons will reload automatically when not fired. Reload. All right, good. Let's get back to reality. Cool. Yeah, as I said, like before. In the very first build of this I played, you actually used to turn physically by turning your head, which got a little bit awkward, so they updated it, so you now turn with your Next, controller. Aim with your head. Rotation lock, and we'll practice turning your rig about. Here's the drone again. Same deal as before, but this time, your rig will turn to face the drone as you look toward it. Alright. Well, unless they went back to the old. Okay, to the left. Oh, okay, no, no, they did, they did. Alright, never mind. The E3 build was different. The E3 build, I actually physically turned with my Good. stick, which... Alright. This is cool. This makes more sense anyway. I like it. We'll see what else I can combat. Over to the right now. Back to center. Good stuff. All right. Now let's get your eye in with some more target practice. Loading the range again. Man, let me play a match. All right, how about? I wish I could aim with a VR headset in every game. I would be so precise. Well, for the most part. Well done. Cool. Oh. automatically steers in the direction to which you are looking. Your rig has an alternate control method where you manually ah. turn using the right stick. Would you like to try this manual method of turning or carry on with the head mode? No, I'm going to stay like this. I want head turn. Very good. Cool. You can change your go. control style in your options menu at any time. Here now we... it's time to stretch those servos. Turn to face the exit door. All right, boss, let's go. Oh, it's Chief. Sorry, Chief. Get him go. He's speedy. I thought I'd 
join you in another hunter rig. I'll be running the course with you, demonstrating some of the exercises and keeping you company. Cool. Okay, unlocking your leg servos now. Follow me. Yes. We'll be at All a right. reduced speed until we get into the arena. We run routine diagnostics on various rig chassis in here. Check it out. Cool. This is the Hunter rig. The same one you're in right now. Smallest rig chassis. That's the one I want, Sentinel. Nimble, ideal for hit and run attacks. Meet me on the elevator when you're ready. Tempest is the flying one. The Tempest. Vertical takeoff. And, and this is the new one. Oh, no, 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 he's not new. Ideal tactical option. Oh, wait, no, Mirage is double jump. I'm getting myself so confused. Powerful chassis, nice balance of speed and strength with great jumping capability. That's the one, okay. So Sentinel must be the new one then. All right, anyway, let's go. We're out in the field. Look at it. This is kind of cool. This is our test arena. Where we'll carry out the rest of your training. You'll be able to return here later to try out new rigs. Awesome. I'm initializing your tracking system. There's a radar and a map version. You can toggle between them in the options menu. Once we start moving about the arena, you may want to try the alternate steering method. You can do that in your options menu as well. All right, we'll do that. Okay, here we are. I'll be spawning in pickups and targets for you to collect and destroy. Let's start with something basic. I've spawned a handful of pickups around the arena floor. Go hunt them down now. I've locked your jump capability for the time being. How dare you? I want to jump. Let me be free. All right. Yeah, I like this. I like this method. It kind of it, get, it does take a little bit of getting used to when you're steering with like your head like this. But once you start doing a little bit more, it does start to feel really, really like smooth. It's just like, especially when you get into combat. In um, as we'll see once we get into a match, I feel like it gives me a lot, much better advantage. Okay, here's the next round of pickups. I added some targets to the mix as well. Shoot them down. Oh, you're gonna let me shoot things, but you still can't let me jump. All right, mate. Use your rig's melee attack for a small burst of speed. Just press oh. R3. Thank you. That'll do. Good job. Cool. Now I'll unlock your rig's jump capability. Hey, there we go. Here's the next round of pickups. Now I can go. Huh, hey. You'll have to oh, okay. Jump to get these pickups, or you can shoot the targets instead if you prefer. How can I do both? If you jump from a ramp, your rig will pick up some extra height. Okay. You can use your melee boost in the air to gain some extra distance with your jumps. Oh, that side. Okay. Oh, you're trying to mix it, up, mix things up, eh? All right. All right. Excellent. I've unlocked your dodge capability. Give it a try. Okay. Oh, nice. Come over to me, and we'll continue. So a battle chief. Now we'll go over something very important. Your rig's power modes. Your rig features a power distribution system, which allows you to instantly change between turbo mode, impact mode, or repair mode. Mm -hmm. Turbo mode increases the movement speed of your rig. Impact mode increases the offensive power of your weapons. And repair mode engages your auto repair systems. Give it a try. Yes, cool. Taking down three opponents will automatically engage overdrive for a short time. When in overdrive, all three power modes are active simultaneously. Cool. I think you're ready for some combat now. Yes, I am. Come and get me. Oh, okay. 
Okay, Chief. You've taken some damage. Heal up your rig with your repair power mode. Oh, mate, I don't like this rig. I want the double jump. Give me the double jump. You can use your turbo mode to chase me down. How about I just nice. destroy you? is super important as well. This is one of the things you'll find online. Like some of the online matches that I have played um, at events in the past. So people tend to forget about this thing, this um, uh, different power modes. And if you have like the impact one, you will always win your basically always win your gun battle. Oh! oh to deploy back into the arena, highlight a relaunch point on the map okay. using your left stick. Then press cross to confirm. The map cool. will also show tactics um, like the location of your teammates, visible opponents, and game specific. Yeah, there we go. You're in overdrive. All your power modes are active. Make hey. the most of it. We'll continue will. fighting until your overdrive runs out. What if it doesn't run out, buddy? Oh no, it, it always does. Okay. Where's he gone? Sorry, Chief. Yeah, as I was saying, super important online because people tend to forget about this in their like the heat of action. They're just like trying to shoot people and whatnot. But if you have like your power modes and you remember to you know heal and speed up and whatnot, then you will generally speaking win your gun battles. So it's super, really, really, really important to remember. You'll have noticed that when a rig is taken down, the pilot is ejected into the air. By default, your rig masks your view as you eject and redeploy. But I want to show you what it's like without the mask on. Okay, here we go. Eject. Hey, you give me that. To deploy, turn your head towards a relaunch point on the ground. Then press cross to confirm. Do you want to leave the ejection mask turned off? Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to. I want. Yes. All right. Give you me the full experience. Your comfort settings in your options menu at any time. Okay. Thank you. All right. That wraps up our training. You're ready to fight in the arena. I put the arena into practice mode. It'll be like this whenever you return from now on. Meet me back on the elevator when you're ready to leave. Uh, well, I don't want to shoot targets. I want to shoot people. So let's just let's just get out of here, shall we? Let's go. I'm ready, buddy. You did good, champ. Look forward to seeing you in a real match. Welcome to Rick's headquarters. You'll manage every aspect of your MCL career from right here. So let's take a brief tour of the facilities. Okay. In front of you is the rig showroom. This is where you choose the rig you're going to use. Now, look down at the tablet in your hands. Hey, this is your interface for everything. You'll be using it a lot to further your career. The rigs you can see on the tablet are the basic rigs, including the Hunter you've just taken out for a spin. There are four classes of rigs, and you can select each one from this screen. Why don't you try changing your class now? I want to be this one because it's got double jump. The rig class has a unique profile, which changes how it handles and performs. If you'd like, you can take your currently active rig into the test arena to get used to its special movement abilities. There we go. Speed. No, I don't really want to take it. These the test, are just the like... basic rigs. Man, that's so cool. If you scroll up, you see that there are more advanced rigs, each with a specific weapon loadout and special ability. You'll need these to be competitive. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Hey, look at this guy. Painkiller. Kill switch. Anger man. Yeah. I want some. Okay. Vampire to get you started, we've deposited some in your account. When you're ready, pick your first rig. Oh, I can buy my Remember, first rig. You can always try cool. out each of the classes using the basic rigs before you commit. Okay, hold on a minute. Alright, well I wanna keep I wanna keep the Mirage type. So this one has um Taking down an opponent restores the rig's armor. Carries a shield on the back. That stops all attacks other than melee. That's kinda useful. 
After the radar is destroyed, it explodes, damaging nearby teammates. Uh, scrambles the radar of nearby opponents and heals nearby teammates. That's kind of useful. Kill switch. Can shoot power spheres or end zone balls to pick up at a distance. Hidden from radar in turbo mode. Ooh. Okay. What's this dude? Anger management. Melee attacks to save overdrive and power modes for a short time. Huh. I kind of like the idea of this one. You can shoot power spheres and end zone. So, yeah, so I can kind of... Although... Wait, painkiller. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go with this. Because uh, the scrambling might be useful. Right, let's go with this. We're going to buy this one. Okay. Painkiller is me. Let's get you acquainted with Painkiller, an agile Mirage class rig kitted out with the engineer ability. It's packing the smart missile launcher and heavy machine gun. A great match for any rig in a support role. May I'm not support. When you've seen enough, tap R1 to turn to the online lobby area. What about offline play? Okay, never mind. Okay, this is the online lobby area. From here, you'll arrange online fixtures and invite friends to join your team. If you look up from the screen, you'll see a holographic representation of yourself. Say hi. Hi. The empty spaces next to you will be filled by teammates and opposition pilots when arranging matches. We can go into more detail later. When you're ready, tap R1 again to turn round to the HQ area. Okay. So, You'll come here to customize your appearance and sign sponsorship deals. You can also test your skills in the solo trials or admire your collection of silverware. Take a look at the tablet. I've only made the customize option available for now. I expect that you'll be wanting to rub it in when you're the most valuable player <laughs> in the match. Let's select your podium celebration to show off your moves. Okay. Right now, there's only one podium celebration available. Go ahead and select it. You'll gain access to more during your career. There's loads. Okay. Great. Give me that you can return to check out the other customize options another time. Now, let's turn to the offline area. Tap R1 when you're ready. I'm ready. This okay. is where you come to arrange offline matches. Let's sign you up with a team to begin your career. Have a browse and choose one you like the look of. Highlight the team you want to join and hold the cross button. All right. You can switch teams later if you want to, but that will reset you to the lowest league. Oh, no, no, no. Right, okay, who do we want to go with? Well, let's pick the coolest logo. Maybe the Cobras. Or oh, the Dragons. Dynamos, Grizzlies, Kings. Or oh, the Ninjas. Nah, 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 nah. That's too obvious. Shark's kind of cool, too. Valkyries, Vultures. Right, is it either, it's either going to be... The dragons or the cobras. Hmm. Let's go, dragons. Let's do it. Sign into the team. Great. Now that you've signed to a team, you're going to need some co pilots to help you out. Okay. We have test pilots on our books who will play for your team at no cost. Expert pilots can be hired for a cut of your team winnings, and the amount they charge reflects their level of skill. Let's recruit a couple of test pilots to your team now. Look up from the screen and turn your head to center either of the empty pilot positions in your view. These pilot positions are called focus points. Tap the triangle button to activate one while it's highlighted. Okay. Available pilots are now displayed on the tablet. Right now it's only the test pilots. Cycle through them paying attention to their stats and the rig they will be piloting. Okay, cool. When you right. found one you'd like on your team, highlight them and hold the cross button to sign them up. Uh, I need to see their, what's their rig again? Right, okay. I don't, I don't really care about the people, I care about the rigs. I use uh, Mirage, so I want to have, I want to have a fast one, so we're going to take, wait, hang on. Yeah, we'll take a fast one. Cool. Nice. The team's starting to take shape. Let's fill the other empty position to complete the team. Choose a second test pilot, same as before. Cool. 
Uh, yeah, let's try this one as well. Let's have a heavy. So we've got a heavy, we've got a double jump, we've got a speed. So then we kind of got all bases covered, I think. That's how you structure a team, right? Something like that. Now you have your team selected, I think it's time to test your skills in an offline match. Okay. Press the cross button to see who you're up against. Let's do it. Time All right, for well, your our first, first match is, is AI, leagues. but that's fine. At least I get Every shoot, win or draw earns points to move you up the table. Finish the season at the top and you win promotion to a higher league. You'll also see what type of match you're about to play and can check out the rulebook if you're unfamiliar with how the sport is played. Okay. This one should be a lot of fun. When you're ready, hold the cross button to start the match. This is Team Takedown. In this sport, two teams of three take each other on in destructive combat. Oh. The rules are simple. Take down an opposition rig to earn a point for your team. At full time, the team with the highest score wins. Fair when a rig is taken down, it releases power spheres. These can be collected by anyone to charge their overdrive gauge. Ejected pilots can choose to launch their rig at any of the arena's relaunch points. If the match is a tie at full time, extra time is played. In extra time, the match is won when an entire team has been eliminated. Extra time is played out with sudden death rules, so there are no relaunches. If there is still a tie at the end of extra time, then the first takedown of the match determines the winner. You can earn additional personal points by assisting a teammate in taking down an opponent. Cool. Easy. Let's go. It's actually different to the mode that I played before, so I, I, the only mode I've ever played is the kind of point scoring, dunk the ball in the middle mode. So this is kind of cool to be something different. So yeah. Alright, that's the first match guys. We're going to do an offline match and then I'll do like online matches probably once the game comes out. So I know that people are online on the servers. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's start our career. First match. I'm going to destroy the opponent. Here we go. What's up team members? Pick me up, drone. Alright, nice. So we've got a little flying dude. He's going to be our speed guy. We've got a heavy hitter. And then we've got me, the all-rounder. But, realistically, I'm the big guns this time around. Start with speed mode. Pilots, power up. These arenas are so cool. Right, let's Time do it. Oh no! Did I really get the straw away? What? What? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, let's play more sensibly, shall we? You're up. Give right. them hell, Speed over to them first. They're up by just one point. Oh, I can't get out of the way. Take okay. for the talents. Where they are? Oh, Alright, I see him, I see him. Leave me alone, man. Point for the oh, what? Are you serious? What? What is going on? Alright, okay, hold on. I haven't killed anyone yet. This is, uh... Which one's my rocket launcher? Okay, I'm out. I'm out. We're going this way. Okay. I'm rusty right now, guys. Let's speed through. There's a guy down... Mate, you're doing my work for me. I want to kill someone. There we go. There we go. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. All right. This is not so good. So wait, which one is my rocket launcher? So rocket launcher is left, right. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. I haven't got the double machine guns anymore. Oh, 
Oh, what? What is happening? I am literally getting like one shot by these NPCs. This is actually ridiculous. You're active. Talents put more points on the board. All right, we might have to go for a second match off this, just so I can show that I'm not a complete scrub. There we go. All right. Overdrive. Okay, let's go. Let's try and do some. Let's try and do some actual work, shall we? First half down. I didn't do very well there, guys. But let's try and uh, let's try and pull it back. The dragons are dominating this game so far. Hey, I don't mess around in this game. Victory's a short thing. Nice moves out there. You really helped the team to build a lead. The points are there for the taking. Nice moves out there. No. All right. Let's 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 try and let's try and bring it back in the second half, shall we? There we go, he's down. Right, one. Two down. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. If the talents don't strike back, they risk letting this match slip away. Where's he going? Where's he going? He's going down here to me. Where are you? Oh, I see you. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Let's prepare. There we go. Now I'm starting to get into the into the flow of things. Where you at? Where you at? All right, cool. Get out of here, man! I don't have time to fight you anymore. Right now, I'm into my stride. This is what I'm talking about. It took me a little while to get back, get back into it, but... There we go. Switch into power mode, switch back to heal. Make sure I'm... Uh... Okay, I'm maxed out. Let's go speed. Let's try and close the gap. Where are they? Where are they? Up ahead somewhere. Oh, I see him down there. Hey, there we go. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Oh, I'm overdrive already. There we go, right. Either they dialed down the, like... No, no, I'm, I'm not going to say they dialed down the difficulty for the second half. Like, I'm just destroying guys. I see you, I see you. Mate, these guys. 42 points to 18. Okay. They can't come back from this at all, even if they, even if we stop playing. All right, nice. You're dead, mate. Get out of here. I should be the top of the top of the leaderboard for this one. Third place on the team doesn't always Third? Be the what? Match. It's a team effort after all. As if. True. If I didn't do so poorly in the first round, it would have been alright. But still, we won. It's the most important thing for the team. We move up. Oh, look at this. Is this our private jet? Hey! And MVP. MVP. Dragons. Oh, sorry, outside the play area. Don't get too close. Well played. Well played. Get my feet. Wow, what a way to announce your arrival on the league scene. Great performance there. You're not among the top five pilots competing for the Top Gun Award, but that could change with a few good results. Of course it will change. Of course it will change. But for the time being... 
quickly becoming a fan favorite. Your fame is growing, which will make it easier to attract more experienced pilots. All right. Got some credits. Nice. It's good to get the first one under your belt. It turns out you've caught the eye of some major brands, and they're hoping to sponsor you. Let's head round to the HQ to see what they're offering. Tap L1 right. to turn when you're ready. Cool. Turn. Sponsorships are a great way to earn extra credits, fame, and customization items. All you need to do is complete the challenge set out in each sponsorship deal. New deals provide the most rewards, as you'll earn a special first-time bonus if you complete them. I've just activated the Sponsors menu on the screen. Highlight it now and press the cross button to enter the menu. Okay. You have sponsorship challenges for your online and offline careers. You can change them at any time. Be aware, though, you'll lose all progress if you swap a challenge before it has been completed. Let's choose a sponsor challenge for online matches first. All right. Have a look at the available contacts. Score two melee takedowns. Each has its own set of challenges and rewards. An MVP or When you find one you're interested in, hold the touchdown. cross button. I'll take that. I've done MVP before. Excellent. Let's do the same for offline matches. These are the offline contracts. So five takedowns, Remember, two assists. Hold the cross button to sign the deal. Overdrive four times. Take down every opponent in the match. Overdrive four times will be easy. Great. Now remember, each first completion will give you a bonus reward. So consider signing a new sponsorship deal after you've completed the challenge. Of course, you're welcome to keep a previously completed challenge active, but the reward will be smaller. Okay. If you Thanks. want a different experience and the chance to earn some fantastic rewards, Visit the Trials section of the HQ. These will test your abilities whatever your level, and are a great way of developing your skills and boosting your celebrity status. And that's the basics covered. You now have unrestricted access to the headquarters and can navigate to different areas using either L1 or R1. I'll be on hand to talk you through anything we didn't cover during the orientation tour, but for now, let's start winning some matches. I don't like that new helmet. I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, cool. Alright, well, you know what? That's that's a, that's a decent point to end for the time being. I'm going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That was a first look at Riggs. So that is uh, Riggs McLeod's Combat. I am going to be playing some more of this. I'll probably play some more of this over on the second channel. So if you guys do want to see the kind of continuation of my career, then I'll leave a link to the second channel in the description box down below. I've also got some other VR gameplay over there anyway. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. I'll also probably be streaming uh, some VR, some Riggs at some point as well. I'll probably wait until it launches for that so I can make sure that there are full servers and whatnot. But either way. That was Riggs. If you guys enjoyed it, I'd like to be super appreciated. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.